They sail upon the ocean from Jamaica to Penzance, but they don't want gold and they don't want treasure. They only want your pants. Pants on the poop deck, pants in the hold, pants in a chest where there should be gold, pants in the crow, there's pants at sea, and a big pair of pants where the sail should be. Those scurvy rascals! <laughs> She runs off screaming. 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 Ah! <laughs> Babysitter. I love it when she's here. What? She bakes me cakes and cookies and says I'm a little dear. Aww. She's really nice to me. Lets me stay up late and stuff. Ah, oh, sweet. Yeah. Breakfast. <laughs> Nurse, send the next one in, please. Ah, hello. What appears to be the matter? Uh, yes, well, I got up this morning and uh, walking to the bathroom, yes. uh, I nearly stubbed my toe. Right. 
but I didn't. And then I got the toothbrush. It's an electric one. You see, and I had water on my hands. Oh, yes. And I no. nearly electrocuted myself, but I didn't. And then yes. uh, I left the house. No. Waffle, it had been waffle. raining, so the pavement was a bit slippy. Just enough to slip over. And if it had fallen over, you see, right. you walked up to the shops. Uh, and I went up the door to the shop, nearly fell on me, but it didn't. Yes. And then I, I went in the waffle. shop. Uh, and as I was giving my change over, my finger nearly got caught on the edge of the uh. counter. Uh, and then Stop I... Stop it! I've had enough! I was really looking forward to my breakfast waffle, but yours was the most boring waffle I've ever heard! Nurse, no more wafflers! She doesn't, she loves me! Tinkle! Rotten the minus! Save my more beautiful creature! Both of you! Shut your traps! I am but a beard who is its supreme in the land of crud! Oh! It's Master! Master summons us! We, we are, are here, here to carry out your, your wishes, Master! Silence! Will you two forget that stupid picture? I want you two to keep an eye on my new pet, Gordo McMullet. That head-banging bungle of a kid keeps getting into my stuff and making this huge mess of everything. You two, keep him chained up until I get back, or I'll punish you with my giant fist of magical wrath! Boogity, boo, blouts! <laughs> Sort of trance. Wake up, shaman boy! Hey, guys. Hold on one sec. Hey, man. Be cool. My tunes are on there. Silence, man child. We're here to guard you while the master is away. Butterbeard's gone? That so means it's party time. Come on. Let's go play with some wizard toys. You ain't going nowhere. Come on. Why do you guys have to be such downers? The land of crud is the coolest place I've ever been. Goblins, wizards, dungeons. Man, this place rocks so hard. I don't know why you guys keep me chained up down here all the time. You ain't leaving this cell. No leaving. <sighs> Sweet. Oh, well, if I'm going to be stuck here all day, I might as well relax and have a little... Snack! Oh, the child has tasty bits. <laughs> uh, not so fast. See? Stay. Lie down. Roll over. Beg. Now, fetch. Fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. Crystals? Learn. I've got something way cooler. 
Behold, with my wee, wizardy eyes. Oh, have mercy on us, Great One. Don't hurt us. He did it. Yeah. Are you responsible for this? You smashed my huge diamond? Yes. What a clever idea. It is? Yes. Look at all these cute little diamonds. So much easier to carry around than that big old rock. Such a smart little manling. And just to prove that I'm not such a mean old wizard, I shall reward you with diamonds? Oh, no. This autographed photo of the lovely Princess Moustache. Huh? <laughs> that was all picture of the princess. <laughs> oh, jeez. I can't take this from you. After all, you guys were the ones in charge of me today. So, I guess this really belongs to you. Oh, yes, yes, it does. <laughs> you know, for a fleshy little manling, you really know how to, um, raise the roof. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, good one. You know it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just... I'm rich, rich. Report with me, Mike today. And me, Sally Van. First, a weather warning for boys. Freak girl storms are predicted all along the coast. And I'm talking really girly. You know, super ultra hyper girly ones. <laughs> a warning for girls. Central areas are likely to remain gloomy for the entire day. I'm talking sulky boy at bath time gloomy. I don't want a bath. No, no, no. Meanwhile, in mountain regions, we have an avalanche warning because two girls have been seen in the area talking really, really loudly. The other coast should be warmer, but with very strong winds. It's going to be about as windy as a boy eating beans. We are talking totally gale force. <laughs> Good night. Oh, my. Pets. He thinks goldfish are lots of fun. 
He thinks gerbils are lots of fun. But he thinks kittens are absolutely no fun at all. Tuesday, the dinosaurs died out. There were many reasons for this. Here's just one of them. Number 24. Okay, Parker, let's make a horror movie right now. Uh, shouldn't we write a script or something first? Look, don't be crazy. Movies for teens don't have scripts, okay? Let's just scare people, and then we'll edit it together later, you know? Like, it'll be totally real. I think you're right. But, you know, I'm gonna need a costume. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> okay, let me get ready. Three, two, one. Hello. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's totally scary. Oh, nice. Okay, watch, watch with the sausages. Okay, listen. Listen. Gravy leaking down my butt crack. Yeah, yeah. Can you get me a tissue or something? Yeah, Parker. Parker. Okay, go wait by the girls' washroom and scare the first girl that comes in. That's awesome. Okay, then. Oh, yeah. Oh, there. Don't get, oh, don't get grease on the lens. Okay. Um, Dude, stop eating your costume. I can't help it. Oh, there's somebody coming. There's somebody coming. Okay, okay. camera's rolling right. and action. Oh, nice costume. Cow killer! Run, Josh! Come He's a vegetarian! You. Run! Oh. Run! Oh. I just wanted to be a, a filmmaker. I didn't... Parker? Parker? Quiet. Oh, Parker. Hey, you all right there? I'm fine. I just feel like eating some broccoli now. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Where is she? Hey, you're as pale as tofu. And I eat tofu, kid. Come here, you. <laughs> oh, telling you, Parker, that is the most beautiful horror movie I have ever seen. Yeah, it was awesome. And we made it. High five there, buddy. Yeah. This is the story of a large flock of sheep. 
who jump over a fence to help Kim knows where they sleep. Some jump high and some jump far. And some can barely jump at all. But there was one little sheep who was handsome and keen. Oh, oh, teacher, over here, I know. And he went by the name of number 13. There was only one problem with this eager sheep. Before his number was called, little Kian would fall asleep. Again and again, night after night, the other side of the fence was never in sight. It's because I'm unlucky. It's the number 13. 13 is bad luck. Do you know what this means? I'll never be lucky, not as long as I stay. You need to relax. You'll get paid either way. But it wasn't for him to sit and be slothful, so he fled to the woods with a scream, something awful. The following day, they were in quite a state. A terrible storm was keeping young Kian awake. He tried and he tried to count all the sheep, but without number 13, he was getting no sleep. So they sent number seven to find 13, who found him alone at the edge of the stream. You've got to come back. Little Kian can't sleep. He needs number 13 to count all the sheep. So it seemed his good luck had finally commenced till the tip of his hoof caught the top of the fence. As he lay on the ground, the flock held their breath. Had number 13's jump counted? Did it put Kian to rest? 13, 13. Yes, Kian Noseworthy was finally asleep. Thanks to the luck of the 13th sheep. <laughs>